What is up guys? Here we go again on a disastrous freaktography abandoned church adventure. Guys, today we are in what used to be my very favorite little abandoned church in southern Ontario, Canada. And as you can see behind me, it has collapsed onto itself 10 years after I first explored this for the first time in the summer of 2012. You guys might remember I've been coming to this church almost every single year since the summer of 2012, documenting the gradual decay uh, and crumbling and destruction of this little abandoned church. And now guys, this past winter, the roof came down. So this is gonna be our last visit. So cue the music, cue the intro. I'll see you guys on the other side. Okay guys, so I'm gonna do my best here today to uh, show you guys some before and after now and then footage from video and photos of what this place looks like now and what it's looked like over the years. I've almost been here every year. There might have been a couple of years in between where I didn't actually come, but for the most part guys, I've been coming here every single year to document the destruction and the decay from mother nature and what she has done to this abandoned church and this year guys she had enough there's the famous green curtain everybody always comments on the green curtain and how everything else in this church has fallen apart but the green curtain still stands well not anymore guys the green curtain is now on the floor there's the other half of the green curtain over there Uh, if you have a look right there, there is the uh, picture of the Last Supper that was on the wall. Pretty much didn't move at all over the last 10 years. And, uh, well, now there it is. There is the big leather Bible down there. It's fallen. It's, it's crumbled. It's in shambles. There's another Bible over there. And there's a pew back there. So it's extremely dangerous, guys. I have to be very careful with where I step and what I do in here because uh, yeah it's in really rough shape a lot of uh, sharp nails sticking out there was a picture on the wall oh I see the frame for the picture is right there if you guys can see it but the picture that was in it has come down I don't know if I can get to where it might be without dying so I think we would have to pass on that one, guys. But yeah, as you can see, it's completely open air now. The roof has come down on both sides. This wall right here collapsed out, which is laying on the ground outside. And then the rest of the roof is collapsed inside. And there is some more roof on the outside over there. I'll show you guys the exterior in a bit. But I guess for now, we're gonna take a walk over to the other side. Uh, we'll say goodbye to this side and we're gonna make our way over there. So. I'm just going to put my camera bag back on and I'll meet you guys over there. 
Okay, here for the fun part, guys. Trying to make our way across without falling through rotten wood, which pretty much everything in here is rotten wood. So, let's see if we can get out of this unscathed, okay? Jeans are not the best idea to have been wearing, but I need to be maneuvering myself around. Okay, there's one leg up. Okay, we're up. Okay, here we go, guys. Whew. There's the street over there, you can see. Take a look around here. All right. Just gonna move this out of the way here. I can. Let's go here. There we go. And then we're gonna step down here. I'm not a religious guy, but maybe, just maybe, if there is a baby Jesus, he's watching over me as I wander and navigate through his, his house here. So that's where I just was, in that pit down there. There's the furnace. And if we go slowly, you can have a see, you can have a look see at some of the pews and uh, chairs along the way. Stained glass windows around the back there. Let's see here. Okay, there we go, get a better look. Okay, there's some chairs right there. And then if we come under, take a look down here, there's the piano that had previously already fallen down into the floor, which is now in its final resting place. So now we're gonna make our way to the other end here. Again, there's all kinds of nails and <laughs> deadly things sticking up from the wood so I have to watch my steps step carefully try and be sure of what I'm stepping on so that I'm not falling and impaling myself on something okay so I'm now standing I'm on the roof guys as you can see here standing on the roof it's very rotten so let's get a view from right in the center here and we'll pan around while we're here, there you go. There's your altar. Used to be the altar. Right there. Roof. Okay, I'm gonna go back around this way because it felt a little more sturdy for my feet. Okay. Stepping very gently. You can see my shadow there. What's up, guys? Okay, so far so good, guys plan is to make it over there to that side okay and then get a view from over there then we'll do some looking at the outside easy goes easy does it guys okay I made it made it standing on some brick I'm not gonna go in there that's where I, I ideally would like to be but uh, not today guys so this is a bright sunny day as you can see it's a beautiful first day of spring actually Come to think of it, I usually come here around Easter. Now, that has nothing to do with the fact that it's a church and Easter is a religious holiday. It's just when I tend to come here. But there, well, there's the front door. Right there. Stained glass window. Sorry if my filming is crap, but I'm sure you guys can understand that this is really not an easy place to do any sort of fancy filming. So here is uh, some of those chairs I was telling you about. Right there. Okay. Now we're going to try and make our way to my exit. Hopefully gracefully. Could probably get out that way, but I'm more familiar with the way we're going to take right now. So we're just going to go over here. Once again, walking on the roof, watching my step. When I say watching my step, guys, what I do is I put my foot down and I give a bit of a push to see how much give I think it has. Now, 
Not to say that that's a 100% uh, solid way of doing it, but that's the best way I can think about doing it right now. So, as we come through here, you can see the fan right down there. There's the fan. And then you've got the furnace. So the wall is all warped and buckled. And then as we come outside, there is the wall that fell. That, wall, that window right there used to be the way in. That's how we would get in. Pretty much how I always got in through over the through the years, and yeah, there's a cemetery here. You can see there's a graveyard. So okay, this was not going to be a easy thing to do with my hands full. So I'm going to put the camera down and I'm going to jump out and then I'll see you guys on the outside. Okay, we made it, guys. Made it out. You just step off here, step on the wall, get over this side, and now I'll show you guys the outside of the church. Here we go. Not looking good, eh? Told you. Well, since we're here, I'll take you guys for a walk through here. This is the other building. It's like a nursery school building or like a banquet hall that was next door to the church. It's in pretty rough shape compared to what it looked like many years ago, but I mean, since we're here, I might as well show it to you, right, guys? Yeah. Bit of a bonus explore while we're here, eh? Got a pretty old fridge right there. Westinghouse. Gonna open it and see what's going on in there. Can't, guys, can't open it. Won't let me. So there, now you're seeing this. It's a high chair right there. So now you get to see this place. But that's not why we're here, so this is just a quick bonus walkthrough because we're here, guys, right? Iron, Iron Toaster, good metal band name, Iron Toaster. All right, anyways, let's get out of here. Let's wrap this one up, guys. I can only milk this one for so long, you know? So I guess that just about does it guys. I can't really do much more. And there's gonna be a link in the video description down below to check out my website and you can see all the pictures and all the videos that I've made and taken here since the summer of 2012. 10 years guys, 10 years of documenting this small abandoned church. So thanks guys, thanks for being here, thanks for watching. Do me some favors, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Gotta go, guys. See you next time. Peace.